Sky Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Gary Frank. Overnight lows throughout the area, 45 in El Centro. Very comfortable start, 53 in Yuma. As we start to warm up our overnight lows, we're having no trouble warming up during the day. And that's what we've seen throughout the area, 80s. 84 in El Centro, 83 in Imperial. These numbers are about 10 degrees above what we typically see for February 10th. So this is out of the ordinary. 77 currently in Imperial, 81 still in Yuma, 82 in Mexicali, 79 in Blythe with a 24% humidity. And our relative humidity values are still raised a little bit with 10 to 15 mile an hour winds generally speaking throughout the area, even seeing a little breezier conditions throughout the area in Imperial Valley. And for the rest of the evening, we'll cool off a few more degrees here pretty soon. Five to 10 mile per hour winds here within the next hour or two as the sun finally sets, 72 El Centro, 7 23 in Calexico with a little more breeziness and then as the sun officially sets we'll see our breezes start to fall off. Now tomorrow morning we'll pick them right back up at 5 to 10. That will be the same way throughout the next several hours and then as we finish at 81 degrees with a light breeze. Noontime in Yuma we'll see gusts of 20 and then 80 degrees as we finish with just a few high clouds scraping across the sky for your Tuesday. Another very nice day but warmer. Is this where we're going to stop? Well the answer is no, and as Desert Doppler showing a clearer sky for our Northern California region, and that area saw quite a bit of rainfall, which was needed, but now we're taking a break, and Precision Cast shows that just as we see a few weak disturbances pass to our north, we'll see a few high clouds across our skies, nothing more, and then as we head towards late Tuesday into Wednesday, that's when we're going to start to clear our skies. And because of that, we're going to start to see clear skies throughout the entire region. Check this out. Throughout the west, not much going on if you're uh, below 2,000 feet because some of the higher elevations seeing some showers. But look, we're still in the 80s right now and even a lot of warmth, even towards the tip of Baja, California. That warmth is what we focus on as we see a high pressure center start to just slowly raise to the north and get stronger and stronger as we head toward Friday and Saturday. It's very near to our region and what that's going to do for us, our temperatures are going to raise up quite a bit as a result. So when's the last time we saw 90 degrees in advanced tracking? We look and well, it was quite a while ago. In fact, November 12th was the last time we saw temperatures that warm. So when will we see them again in the next seven days? Well, of course, as I mentioned it, you know it's coming and it's coming not once but twice. As we go from Wednesday to Thursday, we turn it up in a hurry. 92 degrees on Friday, a day that you don't want to forget. If you're a guy and there's a special lady in your life or even mom, you don't want to forget about it. And then still Saturday near records for Valentine's Day, Imperial Valley also don't want to forget about some special day there, but the good news is if you have to spend time on the couch or outside, it'll at least be cooler in the mornings, even with heating up into the 90s for the afternoon, Manoa. 